Hello, my name is Kathy, and today I want to go over a few things before we start the harp lessons. I want to gear my lessons to a wide spectrum of adults, from those that have absolutely no knowledge of music whatsoever to those that are coming to the harp from an advanced knowledge and skill set with another instrument. For those adult students that are coming to the harp from a piano background, you will find that you can move very quickly with the harp. Harp music looks like piano music, and the finger dexterity and understanding of music that you have developed as a pianist will help you with your harp playing. For those adult students that are coming to the harp from some other instrument background, the fact that you can read the treble clef will be of great benefit to you, as will your basic understanding of music and with the addition of some specific help with the reading of bass clef notes, you will find that your understanding of the harp will move very quickly as well. I will provide links that you can download bass clef note flashcards and bass clef note spellers that will help you. Going over the flashcards and doing the note spelling sheets are done as a separate component of learning the harp. They're not really classified as harp practice time. For those of you that are coming to the harp as your first experience with a musical instrument, you will come to understand how it all works quite quickly. We will start you out with a series of flashcards that depict the various notes of the treble and bass clefs that you should go over once a day. Also, there are note spelling sheets that I will give links for that will increase your capacity to quickly read notes. I like these note spelling sheets because they depict notes in various forms that, so that you become used to reading a note no matter what time value it is worth. You should do one of these note spelling sheets each day. The flashcards should not take more than a few minutes to go through and the note spelling sheets should not take much time either. So this is not a huge amount of time that you are devoting to this task for such rich rewards. Going over the flashcards and doing the note spelling sheets are done as a separate component of the learning experience. They're not classed as heart practice time. As adult students, there are three major limiting factors when learning the harp. The first limiting factor that you will notice is finger strength and dexterity. What happens is that you will understand exactly what you need to do in a given piece of music but your fingers have not developed the muscle strength and dexterity to do what your mind knows to do. The solution to this problem comes in the form of harp finger exercises. Harp exercises allow you to develop finger strength and dexterity by doing repetitive series of notes in various combinations. They are easy to understand and are soothing to play on your harp. The more of this you do in the beginning, the faster you will move forward with your harp playing. Nothing will hold you back from where you want to be more than this factor. Your fingers must learn what to do, what your brain wants them to do. And this is how you achieve that end. The second limiting factor is the development of your string plucking capacity. I have to say that this is the trickiest thing to get in the beginning. The way you do this is to pay particular attention to your hand positions, which I will demonstrate in great detail in Lesson 1. It feels uncomfortable to hold your hands in the correct position at first, and to learn to pluck the strings correctly. The secret is to keep telling yourself to keep your thumbs up, and keep your hands horizontal to the strings, and have your elbows out as well. Then remember that when you pluck a string with your fingers, that the action ends with the fingertip moving to touch the palm of your hand. I will go over this in great detail in Lesson 1. You will find that you can practice this string plucking tre technique best via the finger exercises because they are repetitive. Keep pl practicing the finger exercises, paying particular attention to how you're holding your hands and plucking the strings. The third limiting factor as an adult student is lack of muscle strength and endurance in the back, shoulders, and arms. When playing the harp, you hold your elbows away from your body and up, 
and this will stress these muscle groups. It takes time to develop these muscles. Some things you can do to speed up this process are to do some muscle strengthening exercises like um, lifting weights, uh, the military presses, bicep curls, and tricep, tricep extensions and butterflies on a regular basis. You can choose for yourself how fast you want to go with this. Most harpists I know do not work out with weights. I only added this as a suggestion for students that really wanted to move very quickly with their heart playing. I work out with weights, but then that's just me. The wonderful thing about this course is that you can choose what level of dedication you want to devote to the harp. You can start with as little as 15 minutes a day of harp playing to as much as two to three or more hours a day of harp playing you're the one that chooses where you fit in. I have some recommendations. The way you practice the pieces in this course is to initially practice them hands separately and then put the two hands together. You play through each piece from start to finish slowly and carefully several times. Each time you concentrate on getting it right to the best of your abilities. You usually play each piece from three to five times during a practice session. When practicing a piece of music with a difficult section in it, take the difficult section and practice it separately first. What you do is play through the dif difficult small section slowly and carefully, hand separate at first if it is extremely difficult. As you gradually build up your skill with this difficult section via repetitions. Start with three, five, or ten repetitions of that individual passage until you feel comfortable with it. Then you practice the whole piece from start to finish, doing the number of repetitions you have decided upon. You can get quite creative with repetitive counters too. I've used pennies or other coins to metal tokens and even small polished crystals. Whatever works for you. When practicing long scale passages, it is sometimes helpful to add a rhythm to the passage as you practice them. This really helps a lot if you're having difficulty with it. When you first start to play the harp, Set aside 15 minutes of time each day to practice your harp. Now you can do this 15 minutes multiple times a day if you choose. This will allow your back, shoulders and arms to develop greater strength and endurance in a slow enough manner that you shouldn't feel much stress in these areas. I would recommend that after you have been sitting and playing the harp for a couple of weeks, then move on to practicing the harp for 30 minutes at one sitting. Once again, you can do multiple 30-minute practice sessions as you choose. Continue to add more and more time to your practice sessions as you see fit. In a 15 and 30-minute practice session, work towards spending half that time on finger strengthening and dexterity exercises and the other half of that time on actual pieces of music. In a 45 to 60 minute practice session, work towards spending about 20 minutes on finger strengthening and dexterity exercises and the rest of the time on actual pieces of music. In a one and a half, one and a half hour and two hour practice session, spend about 40 minutes on finger strengthening and dexterity exercises and the rest of the time on pieces of music. In practice sessions longer than two hours, spend about 50 minutes on finger strengthening and dexterity exercises and the rest of the time on pieces of music. Your advancement will depend on how much time you choose to devote to it. Some things that you can expect are that you will not slowly get better. What usually happens here is that you will chug along with your practice sessions and it seems like you aren't getting anywhere then all of a sudden you are considerably better and you plateau there for a while until you make another huge step up. The speed that these big steps up occurs is directly related to the time spent practicing. 
the choice is completely up to you. Um, it's very beneficial to practice every day, seven days a week, but five days a week would, is, is fine. A special note to older glasses wearing harpists. It's sometimes a good idea to get a separate pair of computer music reading glasses. This way, you can look through a larger piece of glass to get a full page view of music instead of struggling with a tiny little section of a lens. It works well to get this computer music stand distance pair of glasses with a small bifocal section at the bottom. Well, that's it for now. Happy harping!